Good day, everyone. Ali Safi here from Safi Financial Network. In this video, I just want to talk about a semiconductor index and we will go over to different charts and uh, we will see how uh, price action tells us a significant downside probably is coming for next two months. But again, this is not going to be a forecast. This is just analysis and basically purely technical analysis. And we are just looking at the chart, uh, three different charts, and uh, we will go uh, with that. So let's get into the chart and see how it goes. Moving on to uh, SMH, which is a pretty nice um, chart on a daily basis. I just want to tell you. So let me just uh, close this FIP. And this is the SMA chart, which is a semiconductor index. And as you see here, we have got a COVID crash. After COVID, we had very, very sharp, spiky uh, move to the upside. We had this blue off top. This is um, December. Actually, this one started initiated uh, the choppiness in November, November 2021, all the way to January 2022, and then sharp sell off coming down. And then, you know what happened to the chart and the, most of the indexes and the stocks in 2022, which they decline a lot. So everyone just uh, looking at this chart and they said this is purely uh, the worst. Uh, decline in the history of the stock market, even it goes below this, uh, like this COVID crash. And this COVID crash scale is nothing compared to this. I just want to tell you, no, this is not actually, uh, because if you just uh, compare uh, Fibonacci retracement from this low to this high, you see uh, after the prior COVID top and then COVID crash, it goes all the way down to 78% Fibonacci. But if you just uh, take this one as a high and then keep the low in COVID crash, because the previous low is COVID crash, by the way, and previous top is here, um, just right at uh, January 2022. Look what happened to the chart. Price goes all the way down to 69% Fibonacci, which is uh, totally different. Um, sorry. Um, yeah, 69% Fibonacci. Retracement. So this means even scale wise, I know it is, it looks very bad. Actually, it was very bad for lots of the stocks and indexes, but it didn't go uh, below like a scale of a COVID crash. COVID crash was very, very sharp. In two months, we went all the way down to 78% Fibonacci, which if you just compare from 2018 19 bottom to 2020 top, uh, in two months, we went down all the way. Uh, to 78% Fibonacci in less than two months. But last year, I mean, like 2022, the whole entire year was pretty bearish. And obviously it was bearish. But if you just look at the chart, uh, this one goes all the way down to 69% Fibonacci, which is coming to this uh, breakout demand area in September, October, 2020. Um, 20, um, 20, is it 20? Yeah, 2020. So where are we at now? I just want to give you explanation. This is pretty interesting just because chart is kind of like a repeating itself. And I don't know if it's going to happen again. So if you look at a uh, previous top, like here is a 2021, uh, January 2022 top, we'll see a nice formation here. So this is kind of like a head, uh, a head and shoulder pattern. It goes all the way to here, but form a bullish consolidation ripped up to the upside, failed this pattern. And you know, best moves comes from failed patterns. This pattern failed. And this is the one that we call blue off top. So this blue off top goes all the way up to January, 2022. And then after January, 2002, price just smashed and declined to the downside. So um, this is very, very important just because the final stage was very, very spiky very sharp and it just came from fail pattern. So this pattern fails to the upside, right? So this is a bearish pattern and it fails to the upside. Right now, here is another thing. So last year in April, I should say this is a February and then this is a head. And here is the shoulder just 
getting close above this head. So this pattern fails, this bearish pattern fails. And look what happened to the chart. Spike up again to the upside. And right now we are just getting to the choppiness and this choppiness is coming along with a very, very nice price action, which is kind of like QM pattern. If you haven't watched my QM pattern videos, there are two videos, by the way, I'm gonna put a link up there here. But if you haven't watched, I just gave you for free. This is one of uh, my educational material that just that gave it free and, and it's free for everyone. Make sure to watch those videos as well because lots of educational lessons there. But anyway, so this is shoulder, this is a head, and this one comes below this previous neckline, or this is just the time point of the shoulder or pivot on the shoulder, left shoulder. So when this one coming down, and then we are just getting back up here, coming down, this is a nice QM pattern. So for those ones who are just looking for a neckline, I just want to tell you there is going to be a risk, better risk to reward here when we get to the right shoulder, we can short the market. And fair enough, we have this uh, price action reacting to the short side. And as you see here, we are just uh, getting back to here to this small demand area. But ultimately, I'm looking for kind of like more downside move even below this pivotal point. It can go all the way down to here, to here, but the better scenario is going to be 130 to 120. And why I'm coming to this level? First of all, if you go to Fibonacci retracement, which everyone needs to use that, and this is pretty, pretty simple. So just to put it bottom there, top here, you see that 38% to 50% Fibonacci, which is coming next level to the downside move. I know that everyone is looking for 23%, but 23% already touched, but we didn't end up to higher high. We ended up to the lower high, and this lower high, if it pivots here or engulf this, can go all the way down to here to this gap, which is coming along to the next level. The next level is gonna be 38% Fibonacci and 50% Fibonacci. And this 50% Fibonacci coming along to this Nice breakout level. So look at the look at the price action after this. Sharp movement to the upside, coming back down again. Sharp movement to the upside. So this is a pretty nice demand area. So I'm just looking for, to be honest, 122 to 130 as a fantastic buying opportunity. But before that, we are where are we? We are at 150 now. So we need to see a price development to the downside coming down. And obviously, there are going to be lots of traders here, especially at 130, which is coming along to um, 200 moving average on the daily basis as well. So uh, this is a nice demand area, sharp demand area to the upside. This demand area has been tested once and ended up to the lower high. So if it goes back down there, uh, probably for next two, three weeks, then we should see a more downside move is coming to the market. And semiconductors, I should say, before getting better, they're gonna just get worse. And that would be a great buying opportunity if you ask me. Um, the next stock that I just wanna tell you or give you analysis is Nvidia. So everyone just are looking at this name just because it has a very, very nice parabolic move to the upside. And if we just look at Nvidia chart, uh, this pattern forms just right at the bottom. New uh, reverse head and shoulder just right at the bottom. And look what happens. So when it triggers to the upside, it went spiky to the upside. And that was phenomenal um, for a chart. So um, we have seen this before for NVIDIA in 2000, again, uh, 21, 22 top. So we have is blow off top right at November time frame. We got the top, and then after that, Nvidia goes all the way down. So Nvidia, when it goes high, it can just end up in the tier as well. So just be careful in this name. When it goes up parabolically, it can go uh, down very very bad. Right now, I should say, just forming a blow off top. So as you see here, we had this gap. Still holding above this gap, but it doesn't have sharp move to the upside. Whenever a stock 
open the gap up significantly sellers just took control on these two candles and right now i should say stock is just forming ending diagonal formation and if it goes below this channel which is going to be 420 so if it goes below 420 i should say uh, below 400 two dollar here in this pivot then it can go all the way down to minimum 350. So 350 would be the first stop or first buying opportunity. But ultimately, I'm looking for this gap fill, which is going to be a 300. Based on the weekly chart, you can go with even lower 270, which is going to be the worst case scenario. But again, from 350 to 270, that could be kind of like the buying opportunity for NVIDIA which I'm just looking for in October, November timeframe. So uh, when I just look at this chart, I'm just looking for this top information completed to the downside and downside. I just want to educate myself and learn how this downside is going to form the bottom. So this is a previous pivot, which is this weekly chart. If you go to the weekly chart, you will see that this is going to be a long bar. And this long bar, just middle of this, goes along to this previous top. So that is very, very important for lots of traders. And it's going to be just a good buying opportunity there for the first stop. The next, stop, next one, and last one I should say in this video, is going to be AMD, which is a pretty nice uh, movement actually happening to the chart right now. But an AMD is forming a channeling down. And this channeling down can end it up to a lower low here. And that would be a great buying opportunity, I should say. Somewhere around uh, $80 to $90 for the AMD. Right now, we are just trading at 107. And we'll, we'll see how it goes. But if it retraces back down, take out this pivotal point around, um, around $100. So that would be kind of like initiate downside move all the way to here, which is coming to this breakout level. 78% Fibonacci, again, fantastic a level for traders, which is coming exactly to $92. So AMD, I'm just looking for, to be honest, 80 to 90, this $10 range as a good buying opportunity. So I'm just looking for more downside, uh, probably that downside initiated today or even next week. And if it goes a spiky to the downside, that would be kind of like a very, very nice buying opportunity just because lots of people are going to be shaken and disappointed with this stock, which is going to be a fantastic buying opportunity. Remember, we had a very, very nice trade for AMD, especially when it goes a gap down here to this demand area, and we bought it, and we sold out just all the stocks at 120. Right now, it's at 107. Still looking for more downside for this stock. Uh, again, this stock could be a good buying opportunity. And compare this one to... SMH, which is the entire industry index, uh, we are not even close to previous top. So SMH, if you remember, we were kind of like here in double top formation and coming down. But AMD, we are just forming another lower high, which shows a divergence in the industry. So that is uh, that is another warning sign for, for semiconductors. This one can shake out here because lots of people are talking about the AI and AI revenues for nvidias for the other names but i'm not sure if that is going to be a, uh, sustainable for the long term uh, long term revenue so we will see how it goes from the fundamental perspective uh, uh, that's different story but for technical perspective this chart uh, tells me that probably the downside move is coming for the next uh, four to six weeks and that would be kind of like the nice buying opportunity. Again, we're going to educate ourselves based on chart movement down the road. Okay, I think uh, I covered everything. Yeah, if you like this video, please smash the like button, subscribe to our channel, and have a good one. See you on the chart. Bye-bye.